Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. I wanted to welcome you all to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. And um, I just wanted to, to thank a very dear brother that sent a little word of encouragement last night. Thank you, Joe. I don't know who you are. I don't know. I don't know who you are, but <clears throat> that's what I was talking about. You know, words of encouragement. Words of encouragement, you know. Okay, this is February the 24th of 2023. And as always, I always pray this in with the Our Father. So, <clears throat> Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen, and they all said amen. I wanted to, to, clear, I wanted to make a couple things clear also from last night. Um... <clears throat> What I meant to say, too, was that there are women who abuses men. That's what I meant to say, that there are women who abuses men. Yes, yes. And uh, what was the other thing? What was the other thing? Uh, oh, about the house, the house. Now, it's not ready yet. It's not ready yet. Uh, the, the guy was going to be, they still needed to put some new drywall up and uh, do some finish doing the remodeling and, and he said probably would be about the middle of March before we could move in. I wanted to add that on there too. You know, I had to have my little rant and, but yes, I know that I'm sealed by the Holy Spirit. I know I am. I know I am and, <clears throat> you know, sometimes it, it just takes just one comment you know, encouraging, an encouraging word, you know, to, to lift somebody up. And that's, that's what the Lord did. I don't know this person. I don't know, I don't know you. But like I've always said, you know, we're, we're supposed to shine our lights. You know, we're supposed to shine our lights and let people see Jesus through us. Let Jesus see th the Jesus, people see Jesus through us. <clears throat> I'm not quite, I'm not all the way, I, I've not been up very long. <clears throat> and I still have my sinuses, of course. I'm not that perfect Christian. I'm the one that knows I need Jesus. Oh, that first cup of coffee, boy. But anyway, I wanted to read. And that's something else, too. People think that books like this are demonic, but they're not. I read, in fact, I read the introduction to Sarah Young. I, I read the introduction to it. There was one night on one of my broadcasts. I'm going to read for yesterday and today out of this one. This one is, this one is Jesus Always. Jesus Always. Okay. I am the word of life, eternal life. I have always existed. I am that which was from the beginning. Moreover, I am divine. As the Apostle John wrote, the word was God. This divine word brings life to all who believe in me. From the beginning of creation, words have been associated with life. Originally, the earth was formed, was formless, empty and dark. Then I said, let there be light, and there was light. I spoke everything into existence, including all the plants and animals. Finally, I spoke mankind into being. The life I offer you is eternal. It begins when you trust me as your only savior, but it never ends. You can enjoy immense freedom through knowing there is no condemnation for you. I have forever set you free from the law of sin and death. 
The best response to this glorious gift is grateful joy, delighting in the one who loves you perfectly and eternally. Remember that I am always near you, closer than the air you breathe. Isn't that beautiful? The verses to this is 1 John, 1 John chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. John chapter 1, verse 1. Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. That's the verses that I was looking for that one time on one of my broadcasts. And Romans chapter 8, verses 1 and 2. I'm going to read them again in case you want to write them down. 1 John chapter 1, verses 1 and 2. John chapter 1, verses... John chapter 1, verse 1. Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 3. Romans chapter 8, verses 1 and 2. Okay, and now the one for today. <clears throat> morning by morning I awaken you and open your understanding to my will. I always mindful of you. I'm always mindful of you, beloved. I never sleep, so I'm able to watch over you while you're sleeping. When you wake up in the morning, I am still with you. As you become aware of my loving presence, I help you become more alert, smoothing out the tangles in your mind and enabling you to see me more clearly. I invite you to spend time enjoying my presence and nourishing soul, your soul with my word. When you respond to my love call by drawing nearer to me, I am delighted. I love this. When you respond to my love call by drawing nearer to me, I am delighted. If we abide in him, he will, he will abide in us. Wow. This time dedicated to me blesses and strengthens you immensely. I open your understanding to my word, enabling you to comprehend scripture and apply it to your life. As you make plans for your day, I help you discern, discern my will. This collaboration with me empowers you to handle whatever comes your way as you go through the day. I am training you to trust me at all times, in all circumstances. In all circumstances. And that's Isaiah 50, verse 1. Psalms 139, verses 17 and 18. James chapter 4 verse 8 and Psalms 62 verse 8. That's Isaiah 50 verse, verse 4. Psalm 139 verse 17 and 18. James chapter 4 verse 8 and Psalm 62 verse 8. All right, now I'm going to read my other one. Jesus first. Jesus first. Okay. Alrighty. Of course, I'm going to read the one for yesterday and the one for, for today. <clears throat> Brought near. Brought near. You have been united with Christ Jesus. Once you were far away from God, but now you have been brought near to him through the blood of Christ. And that's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13. If you have submitted yourself to the Lord, giving Jesus access to your heart and leadership over your life, then you can know without a shadow of a doubt that you are not far from God. He is nearer than you know. When the Father looks at you, he sees you through the lens of Jesus, his beloved Son. You are wholly accepted, fully loved, and completely forgiven. And completely forgiven. When doubts have crept in, in causing you to question your worthiness, let what God says over you be the foundation of your faith. Yes. You can never earn his favor, and there is no need to. You are his chosen child, and he will never leave you. Come freely to his throne of grace and be refreshed by his outpouring of pure love toward you. These are beautiful. 
Nothing and no one can separate you from his mercy. Amen. Boom. Christ Jesus, thank you for drawing me to the in incomparable heart of the Father. I need a fresh encounter with your love today. Remind me who you say that I am and wash off the regret I cannot shake on my own. Beautiful, just beautiful verses. All right, now then, the one for today. No more arguing. No more arguing. Remind everyone about these things and command them in God's presence to stop fighting over words. Such arguments are useless and they can ruin those who hear them. Oh my heavens, this is a boom bam. Let me read this again. Remind everyone about these things and command them in God's presence to stop fighting over words. Such arguments are useless and they can ruin those who hear them. And this is 2 Timothy chapter 4, 2 verses 4, 4 Tim, 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 14. These days you can go anywhere or simply open up your phone and you'll find arguments aplenty. It seems that peace is at a premium and divisions are more important than common ground. But this is not the way of the cross. We do not have to agree on all the particulars in order to choose to love one another as Jesus instructed us to. He did not teach us to love only those who agree with us. We are to love everyone, including those we, we see as enemies. Aren't these, aren't these dead on? I mean, these are right on. This love is not the same as turning a blind eye to injustice. When there is a fight that must be fought, we will find it. We will find it. However, if we choose to follow Jesus on his path of love, we must humble our hearts along the way. Jesus did not instruct his disciples to fight for the truth. In fact, his example was to lay down his life in love. Without love, we are simply clanging symbols, as Paul said in Corinthians. Instead of looking to be right, what if we sought to be more like Jesus? If we sought to be more like Jesus. Prince of Peace, I truly want to be known as someone who lived like you. Where pride has me stuck, Move me closer to you in humility. Fill me to overflowing with your love. Fill me to overflowing with your love. Wow, that's beautiful. These are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. That's what I say, you know. Some of these some of these devotionals are right on. I mean they're they are dead on. They are dead on. <clears throat> that's for sure but yes we are we are to encourage one another lift one another up in prayer be kind to one another don't knock people down I've said this hundreds of times to those of you that's been with me a long time you know that I've said this hundreds and hundreds of times don't knock people down don't knock people down because when, when those stones come back, they hurt. They hurt. They hurt. And I know who I am in Christ and I know whose I am in Christ. Amen? I know. I know. And like I said, God can send people that we don't even know. J just with an encouraging word. And no, it's not just feeding the feeding someone's flesh, as somebody always says, flesh feeders. No. It's encouraging words to lift a person up. That's right. People we don't even know. You know, I mean, God will make a way. God will make a way in the in the wilderness. Or God will make, make a way in the desert, you know. All things are possible with God. All things are possible with God. And like I said, and I've said this before, He's taken me through a lot over a lot of years. 
and he will take me through this. He will take me through this. He'll take me through. And when I do my straight talk videos, it's for people to listen, just, just to listen. You know, we all have to vent sometimes. We all have to vent. And we shouldn't matter what people think, what people say, what people think. The only person that matters is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's the only one that should matter, you know. That's for sure. That is for sure. So again, I want to thank this this dear, this dear brother for leaving that encouraging, loving comment. I I pray the Lord richly blesses you, you and your family. And. I give God all the honor and the glory and the praise for waking me up this morning. Each morning he wakes us up. We should thank him for giving us another day, for giving us another day. We take each day, one, one day at a time, one day at a time. Just a closer walk with Thee. Granted, Jesus, this my plea. Daily walking close to Thee. Let it be, dear Lord. Let it be when my feeble life is old. Time for me will be no more. Guide me gently, safely o'er to thy shore. Dear Lord, to thy shore, just a closer walk with thee. Grant it, Jesus, this my plea. Daily walking. Close to thee, let it be, dear Lord, let it be. I love that. Just a closer walk with thee, and I think Yvette sings it beautifully. Sometimes my voice kind of cracks. Sometimes with these sinuses, my voice isn't the greatest, <clears throat> but I still sing anyway. I still sing anyway giving my God all the honor and the glory and the praise. Giving him all the honor and the glory and the praise. So stay the course. Stay the course. Look not to the right or to the left. Focus straight ahead on Jesus. And like I'm all time saying, you cannot lose with Jesus. Let him take you by the hand. When he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land, what a day, glorious day that will be. Yes, Lord, what a day that will be when my Jesus I shall see. When I look upon his face, the one that saved me by his grace. When he takes me by the hand and leads me through the promised land. What a day, glorious day that will be. 
There'll be no burdens there, no sorrows to bear, no more sickness or no pain, no more parting over there. There'll be peace forevermore on that happy golden shore. What a day, glorious day, that will be. What a day, glorious day, that will be. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When he takes us by the hand and leads us through the promised land, what a day, glorious day, that will be. I love you all. I love you all. Be blessed and not stressed. Be blessed and not stressed. Keep on that whole armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. Keep on the belt of truth, the boots of peace, the sword of the spirit, and the shield of faith to be able to come up against the wiles of the devil because he roams about like a roaring lion seeking to whom he may devour. Don't let it be you. And he seeks to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Not today, devil. Not today. Not today. So this has been Minister Gloria Harlow Drummond. Jesus is the answer ministries. You all have a blessed day. And remember, God loves you. I love you. I really, really do. Jesus loves you. He really, really does. So, till my next broadcast, I love you. Bye-bye for now.